The opening of the Western Front. Iraq's Shia militia, or Hashd al-Shabi, which of various paramilitary groups now have their own task. The main target is to cut the supply routes from the Syrian borders to Tal Afar and to Nineveh province. The offensive is meant to cut ISIL's routes. But they are controversial in a country divided along sectarian and ethnic lines. Human rights groups have accused them of abuses in the past, allegations of killing civilians, burning and looting in Sunni-majority areas. They say they will not enter the Sunni-majority city of Mosul and are helping to isolate ISIL in the city. The Iraqi government is financially supporting the fighters, but their allegiances are varied and are believed to be backed by Iran. They are a powerful force, and the Shia majority government has depended on them in the past to help push ISIL out of the areas it had taken. Fighters on the southern front, too, are making progress. The Iraqi army took back the town of Shura on Saturday. Its forces had been battling around it for days. The fighting is forcing people out of their homes. Thousands have already been displaced since the offensive started. I have nowhere to go. I have three girls. I don't know where I should go. I don't even have one meter to live on in Iraq except my house, and now they're telling me to leave. Should I live on the streets? This is an offensive with several dimensions and several fronts. It will take time to enter the city. The southern front needs to catch up with progress made along the eastern borders of Mosul City. There, they're only a few kilometers away from the outskirts. Now, progress is also being hampered in the south by this cloud of smoke. And that's the result of ISIL setting fire to oil wells to try and obscure their positions from coalition airstrikes. For now, all the various groups involved have one short-term goal, to push ISIL out of Mosul. It's their long-term ambitions that could prove more problematic. Many here are concerned about what the day after ISIL may bring, not just for Iraq, but the wider region. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera, Mahmoud, south of Mosul.